there guys, it's Kim George here from YourChicGeek.com and I want to welcome you to a brand spanking new video today. So in today's video, I am super excited to um, show you guys how you can create a, a website, a professional looking website for your book and author brands, low content book brands and etc. using one of my favorite platforms, which is none other than Payhip. So before we dive off into this video, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment. It helps push things through the YouTube algorithm. Also, for those of you that are interested in getting started with building a low content book empire, you can head over to check out my course, which is called From Publish to Profit. It basically shows you a more strategic way of publishing low content books and selling them on Amazon. And then also I have some freebies as well. One is a swipe file with over 200 types of low content books. And the other is a free masterclass that walks you through the framework that I use for publishing low content books as well. All right, so let's dive off into the video. So you guys have heard me probably mention things about Payhip before, but it really is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite platforms. There's so much you can do. I use it for uh, coaching. I use it for to host my courses. I use it for basically all of my business needs and my digital uh, digital business and product needs. So I wanted to show you guys really quickly today how to put a website together that you can use to drive traffic to your books and sell PDF product versions of your books as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now for this tutorial, there's only gonna be a couple of things that you will need. One is going to be a logo, which you can definitely head over to a site like Canva to make. I've already made one. This is the one that I made for the tutorial. Also, we're gonna be using pexels.com. This is where you can go to find royalty-free images to add to your website. And then you will need an Amazon author account. Now, I'm not gonna go into how to create an Amazon author account, but I will do another video on that a little later. But you will need your link there so that you can direct people over to your books on Amazon. This is an example from Jade Summer. This is what their Amazon author account looks like. And so this is something else you will need the link to. But let's dive in. All right, so I'm on the back end of Payhip, which you will need to go and sign up for an account. Now, Payhip, you can get started for free with signing up for an account. And then they have another plan that you can move to to kind of reduce some of the transaction fees. But the first thing that we want to do is we want to go over here to the account settings so that we can start looking at some of the settings for our website. So the first thing that you want to do is going to be to rename your site. So you want to put this to something related to your book author brand. So whatever that is, you definitely want to make sure that you put that there. OK, and then what you want to do is come down to where it says username, because this is where you want to be able to put the name of your author or your, your book brand. You want to be able to put that here. So when you direct people to your Payhip site, you can say it's payhip.com backslash your book brand. And then also another cool thing is that you can connect all of your social media accounts that are tied to your book brand here. So you can just add the links there. And then once you're done, you're just going to click save settings to save your settings. That's pretty easy to do. So I wanted to just show you guys that. OK, now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go over to the tab that says store. And this is where a lot of the magic is going to take place. Now, first things first is something else I wanted to mention. If you have a professional domain, which I would recommend getting because it does um, lend an air of kind of more professionalism with having a domain connected to your site. Um, what you can do is use a service like Namecheap.com, which is what I use. They have pretty affordable domain names that you can get. And so what you can do is once you've purchased a domain is you can connect your domain to your Payhip shop. So you can just basically follow the instructions here. You can add your domain and then it's going to walk you through the process of getting your domain connected to your shop so that whenever you tell people about your website, you can just say, hey, you can go and visit me over at www.whatever or mywebsite.com instead of Payhip dot com backslash your site name okay so it's just another thing to remember and then last but not least you can add blog post content here so if you want to add blog content you can just do that by going here to add a new post you click on this and this is going to allow you to add a blog post so again this platform is really really cool but um let's go ahead and get into the good stuff we're going to go over and go to the store tab 
And this is where we're going to start playing around and start creating the actual website for the book brand. So I'm going to go ahead and click launch your store builder because this is where we want to launch the builder to get started with building out our store. Now, the one thing that I did forget to mention, and I'm going to just take a quick step back here, is before we launch into the store builder, I do think that it is a good idea to go ahead to the products tab and go ahead and get some of your books and things added here as products and add a price to them. Now, I want to state that when you add your books over into your PayHip website, you can sell them in two ways. You can sell the PDF printable version of your book. So if you have the journals that can be printed, or if you have journals that you're selling on KDP, or if you have coloring books, or if you have word search programs and etc., you can actually come over and add them here as printable PDF versions of your books that you're selling over on Amazon, which is another way for you to make some income. So I would suggest adding them here as a product that you can sell because you are going to need some products to sell. And so again, that's just another way that you can make some coin <laughs> from your website. Okay. So I did want to do that, but to add a product, you just go here to add new product. You're going to go to digital product because it is a digital product. You can go here to upload the files. You can add your product title, add your price, add your product image, which it should be at least a thousand by a thousand pixels. And then you want to add their product description here. You want to make sure it's set for visible and then you just click to add your product to add it there so i just wanted to mention that so you do want to go ahead and add your books and things like that there okay to sell all right so now we're going to go to launch your store builder again and let's get into building out the site okay so the first thing that we want to do is we want to change the logo of the site this is something that I did a little bit ago and so as I stated I've already created a logo here in Canva that I'm going to use so what I'm going to do is go over to header and then from header I'm going to click on where it says store logo and then I'm going to replace the current logo with the logo that I've downloaded from Canva so this is the one that I created in Canva so I'm going to select this and then I'm going to click choose this image now another thing that you can do yours might be small right here is you can actually go to where it says logo height and you can increase the height to up to 150 pixels which is what I did and so once you're done with that you're just going to click save changes all right so your changes have been saved all right so let's go ahead and go back and so now what we want to do is we want to go to the navigation links right this is where we want to direct people to so a couple of things that we're going to do is I'm going to add a home tab and then I'm going to add a an about tab here on the navigational menu so to do that we're just going to go to net uh, navigation links and then we're going to go to edit navigation links and so I'm going to go here and click add link and then I'm going to go ahead and type in home okay so this is home and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to enter into this section and I'm going to go down to where it says home page and we want to set this as the home page for the home link and so we want to click add navigation link so that should be added here which is great now what we want to do is we want to reorganize it so I'm going to drag this up to the top because I want this to be home shop about and then contact so now we want to add an about page now what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of here first because I need to add the page first and then I'm going to go back to add the link now what I'm going to do is click here to where it says add and then I'm going to go to where it says custom page. Oh, actually, let me go back. So let me save the changes first. So sorry. <laughs> okay, so now we can go to add custom page. And this is where you want to type in about me or about just about. And then you want to click add. So now that you've added an about page, you see that the page is empty. So what we need to do now is we need to add a section to this page. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on add section here and there's a couple of different sections that we can add and this is what I'm going to use here. So we have image with text and so you have here um, a couple of different things. I'm going to use this one but they have this one with image, the image to the left and then the text to the right and then they have the image to the right, text to the left and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and click image and text right here. And so what you can do is you can upload a really professional picture of yourself if you want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace. I'm going to add my picture here, 
as a picture of myself. I'm going to go ahead and click choose this image. And then for the heading, I'm going to add a heading. So I can just say something like, uh, you know, welcome. Um, Kim George, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you could come down to the bottom here and you can start adding some supporting text to kind of tell people a little bit about yourself, maybe, you know, why you decided to write your books, your book collection, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, and so on and so forth. Okay, so you can actually add a button here at the bottom if you want to that can link to something else. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave this empty. But I would suggest writing in a really personable about page. Now, once you're done with these different settings and with this uh, section, you're just going to go ahead and click to save your changes. OK, so now we're going to go back. And then now we want to let me see here. Let me go back. OK, we don't want to do that. Let me exit this really quickly. So I'm going to have to jump back into the store builder again. So we're going to go here because we need to add the about page as a link. So we're going to go back to header. And then I'm going to go to navigation links, edit navigation links. And then we want to add the new link, which is for the about page. OK, so that's about. And then you want to go here and you want to go down to where it says custom pages. And then you want to select about. You guys can see that I have about <laughs> five about pages. So I'm just going to do the most recent one. And then I'm going to do to add this or click to add this to the navigation. You can see that it's here. So now I want to drag this up to home, about, shop, and contact. All right. All right, cool. So now we are good. So now we're going to go ahead and click to apply changes. And then we want to save these changes. OK, so we are cooking with Crisco. So now I'm going to go ahead and click back because what we need to do now is I need to add or we want to take a look at the themes for the website that we're building. So we're going to go ahead and click back to go uh, go back again. OK, so now we've come to the section where we want to change the look and the feel of our shop. All right. So we're going to do that by changing the themes. So what we want to do is we want to go down to where it says change store style right here. And then when you click on that, you're going to see that all of these different options are going to come up. You have your colors that you can change. You can change your fonts. You can change the buttons. You can change the favicon, the cookie banner. You can change the themes. And then you can also do some more advanced themes. But we want to go to where it says themes. And the current theme that we're running right now is called Air Smith. OK, so what we want to do is we want to click view available themes. I'm just going to show you guys what they have available. So these are all of the themes that are available within the PayHip uh, store or the website that you can create. So this is what it looks like. But we're going to be using this theme right here, which is called Harvest, because I thought it looked pretty good. So you can click to preview this theme. And this is exactly what it looks like. And so we're going to create our shop and um, hopefully it'll come out similar to this. <laughs> it's not going to come out the exact same because we're just going to be basically doing three sections. So I'm going to just do this right here at the top, add an image to the top like this. I'm going to add this section right here. And then I'm going to just basically do the healthy living section. And then we're going to add an email opt in at the at the bottom of the theme. OK, so that's what we're going to be doing for our site just to keep it simple. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. So once you find a theme that you like and I suggest you guys go through and look at all of them, what you're going to do is we're going to back out of this. OK, and so what we want to do now is we want to go to the section that says switch to another theme. All right. So we're currently on Airsmith. And so now what we want to do is we want to choose the harvest theme to apply this to our website. So it says, yes, I understand. Switch theme. All right. So the theme has been switched. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to add a section here at the top. This is kind of like a hero image of sorts, but we want to add that to the theme. So we're going to go click to go back. We're going to go back again. And then now we need to add another section. So we're going to go ahead where it says to add section. And the section that we're going to add is going to be image with text and is going to be this first section here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this section. Now you can see that this background image is it's not really in line with the kind of 
uh, the kind of shop that I have. So what you want to do is think about, you know, what are you selling? Now, depending on what you're selling, this is where Pexels.com is going to come into place because this is where you can go to find royalty free and stock photos that you can use specifically for a project like this. So I'm going to be selling journals. So what I would do is I would do something like a workspace with journals. And so then what you can do is just kind of scroll through and find an image that ties in with the kind of, you know, books and things that you are selling. So um, I think I selected, uh, I think I selected something like this or something like this. I can't remember, but I've already kind of selected my images, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys, you know, how you can go about finding images that you can use for your specific website. So maybe if you're doing coloring books, then you can do, you know, coloring books. You can do that and then you can come in here and find some coloring books that you can add and the images look really really professional okay so just wanted to show you guys that but again I've already selected my image so what I'm gonna do is go back to my payhip editor and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a title right here so maybe you can do something like welcome to the KSG book store all right and then here you can put a little blurb about your books. You know, we sell journals for writing, bullet journaling, and inspirational themes, something like that. Yeah, I'm just making up something. But you definitely want to add a nice blurb here to kind of tell people, you know, what you do. XYZ and things like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this button that says shop now. I'm gonna go ahead and click the X to remove that. And so I want to get that out of the way. And so I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on down. And the next thing that we're gonna do is change the background image. So to change the background image, you wanna go over to where it says background. And then we want to replace this image with another image. Now I've already, again, found my images. So I'm gonna go ahead and click upload. And this is the image that I want to use, which is this one, which is kind of related to the kind of books that I'm selling, which are journals. So this is the image that I want to use right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click choose this image. Now, you can tell that the image is not really kind of fading to the back. It's too, too bright. You can't really see. So what you want to do is come over here where it says overlay opacity. And you want to scroll this over to the right to darken this opacity on this image all right and so there we go and then now what we want to do is i want to where it says format i want to go over to format because we want to reduce the size of this section this is too big so where it says section height i'm going to change this from a large to a medium and i think that looks good and so now that i've done my changes and i'm satisfied with them i'm going to go ahead and click to save changes okay all right so now what we want to do is i'm going to go ahead and click to go back and then i want to take this section and i want to move this above the book collection all right so you see this is what this is looking like right now okay so this is what the site is looking like so we have our menu with the icon which is uh, the logo which is small right now we're going to change that and make it bigger then we have this section and then we have this section down here all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go to the header section again to change the menu because i don't want this to go into the background of my image so i'm going to go to header settings which is right here and now i want to go to the section that says make header transparent instead of yes we want to click no and you want to make sure that this is set to light so you see what it did it changed that and that's exactly what we want all right so now we're going to go ahead and click to save changes okay so i'm going to go back i'm going to go back to the store logo and then i'm going to increase the size to 150 because it's too small i'm going to click save changes and that is pretty much it for this section right here so i think that looks pretty good all right so now what I'm going to do is I am going to add a section underneath here based on the, the look and the feel of the uh, other theme that we're trying to emulate. 
Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I had a look, had to go back to take a look at the layout of the shop. Something else that I forgot to mention that I noticed is the size and width of this image right here. This is something that we do need to change because currently on this website up here, this is the full width of the page and we don't want that. So in order to change this from the full width to look like the width right here, we need to go into one of the settings to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click to go back and then we need to go to this section right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to background image. And then what we need to do to, to change that is to where it says background width instead of full width, we want to click on inset. All right. So you see that that changed that. Okay. So now we want to click to save our changes. And if you want to leave it at full width, you definitely can, but I'm just going to put it back at, um, or kind of make it similar to the theme and what it looks like, which is here, right here. I have too many tabs, so forgive me, <laughs> but this is what that looks like. And I think that looks really, really good. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to add this section right here, which is where they have healthy living. And then they have a course that they are directing people to. We're not going to be directing people to a course in this section. We're going to direct people to our Amazon author account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into PayHip, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to add a section. Now, the section that I'm going to be adding here is going to look a little bit different, but you can feel free to play around with this as much as you guys want. There's so many things you can do. The section they use was right here, so you actually can do that, but um, I wanted to toy around with using this section right here, so I'm going to click on this. And this right here, as you can see, has a double kind of image look right here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace this graphic. And I'm going to use the one that I use uh, up top. Actually, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to use, I think, this image right here, which is going to go to the left. So I'm going to go ahead and click choose this image. And then I'm going to replace the one to the right. And I'm going to use the image that I've already used up top. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click choose this image. All right. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, and what I would suggest that you can do guys um, to make this really, really cool is to basically put something, you know, like maybe with your books or create a mock-up that shows some of the books and things that you're kind of selling in your shop. I think that would definitely make this look even better, right? Just to kind of give people a little bit of a taste of what they can expect from your shop over on Amazon. So what I'm going to do here is put a call to action that says, uh, check, check out my book collection on Amazon. All right. And so what you can do here is put a blurb, you know, so just click the link below to check out the complete book collection over on Amazon. And I know you guys can probably find something that you know, speaks a little bit better <laughs> on this section right here as a call to action, but I'm just putting that there for now. All right. So I'm telling them that, Hey, check out my complete book collection over on amazon.com or check out my journal collection on amazon.com. And so then what I'm going to do is go here to where it says shop. Now I'm going to change this to view the collection as a call to action. And then where it says all products, instead of pointing to a products, we want to point to amazon.com, which is going to be your author page. I'm going to use Jade Summers author page just as an example. So what you want to do is come to your author page on Amazon. You want to copy the link. Then you want to go back into PayHip and you want to paste the link here. Okay. So you want to do that. And then you just want to click to save that there. And once you're done, you want to click save changes. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to keep looking, keep looking. Okay. Okay, great. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and go back and we're going to look to see what this looks like. And then also I need to do publish. So I'm going to go ahead and click to do publish and let's just check out and see what the store is looking like or what the website is looking like right now. And I actually think this looks pretty cool, right? It looks really simple, looks really cool. And there's one other thing that we need to do, and I'm gonna do that here in a few, but 
I like the look of it right now. So this is what it's looking like. All right. Now, if you don't like that large image and maybe you just want to put something that's a little bit more um, simpler there, then again, what you can do is you can go back here and instead of using this right here, which I actually like this, is you can actually go back and you can delete this section here and then we can just do something similar to what the other demo site looks like. So we can just go here real quick to add a section and then I'm going to go to where it says image with text and remember the demo site had this right here so you can just click this and then I'm going to replace this image with another kind of a, another related image I guess of journals or books and things like that so here's one that I could potentially use all right so I'm going to click choose image and then I'm going to put another call to action here check you know uh, check my journal my complete I'll just do Amazon Amazon journal collection okay so we can do you know check out complete journal collection over on amazon.com something like that right you can actually do a little bit more of a bigger blurb and then here with the button text we want to do view the collection as a call to action all right so we want to put that there and then here for the button link again you want to add your link from your Amazon author page here so we want to add that there we want to click on this and then the button is going to pop up here so view the entire collection okay there you go all right so once you're done you can just click to save your changes and there you go. Now, what we need to do is want to click to go back and I'm going to bring this section up because it's a little too low underneath the collection of products that we have in our store. So this is what the site looks like. And again, I think that looks pretty good. All right. And then the last thing that I want to do is I'm going to add an email subscription form. You guys know that collecting emails is super duper duper important, especially if you're building an author and a book brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this section that has just the you know plain Jane, whatever this is. I'm going to go ahead and delete this section. And then I'm going to add a section with the email newsletter form at the bottom. So to do that, I'm just going to add section. Then I'm going to go over to where it says newsletter. I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to click this one right here. All right. So another thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything as a default. But what I am going to do is I'm going to scroll to the bottom of this form. I'm going to go to the background and I'm going to remove the background image right here. And then I'm going to do save changes. All right. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and click publish. And then we're going to preview to see what everything is looking like. All right. So I think for a matter of just 30 minutes, <laughs> I think this actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to click about. So there's my about page. This is the shop page that you can go to to take a look at the complete shop. It's pretty much the same thing as the home page. Um, but I could have just did shop, home, whatever. But then here's the contact page right here. All right, so this is what this looks like. But I think that, you know, for just 30 minutes or 20 minutes or so without having the technical headaches and things like that, I think that this actually looks pretty good. And I love the fact that you can actually connect your Amazon.com account. So once people come down here, they can just click to view. And then this is going to take them over to Amazon where they can actually order your books from amazon.com. So I think that this is really a, a really inexpensive um, way that you can go about building a simple yet professional looking site to direct people to for your books where they can learn more about you, where you can actually make some additional income because you have your products that are listed here as a digital product. So you can make income that way. And then you can also redirect people 
over to you on amazon.com guys so again i think this is really phenomenal and some other things that you can do is that you can actually go in and you can actually create like uh you know categories and things like that so for example on this theme right here you can see that in her shop if you click on drop down she has plant-based recipes she has baking guides she has all books so if you want to kind of you know categorize things you can do that in your shop as well but i just think this just looks really really good just as a kind of a you know kind of a, a shop to kind of put together to showcase your books and to create a website hold on let me redo this okay there we go but i think this looks really professional i probably would have changed up some of the images and the graphics here just a little bit but i think just for a simple shop that you don't have to pay a lot for i think this really does the trick so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like share subscribe comment all of that good stuff and then one last thing that i forgot to mention with pay hip that you can do let me go back because i'm going at a thousand miles an hour so let me go back here and let me go to exit the store builder because i did want to mention this for those of you that are interested in building your email list if you go over to marketing okay and then you go over to mailing list you can actually connect your mailing list to your pay hip shop into your site so what you'll do is click on set up mailing list and so what you can do is go here and find your email service provider so if you're using mailchimp if you're using active campaign drip uh, convert kit you can just basically select your email service and then you will have to add your api key here and this is something you can get from your email service provider and once you connect that you can actually start seeing the email list you have associated with your mailing list and then you can start actually emailing your folks via your shop so just something to consider okay but again i think it turned out great i hope you guys enjoyed the video again please be sure to like share subscribe comment and um, let me know what you think okay cheers and here's to making a really nice looking website using payhip bye guys